This time we're looking at uh, in painting on the iPad. Now I'm using the um, workbook for Affinity for Photo, but the Affinity for Photo workbook is for desktop. But I'm working through the exercises using the iPad so we can see what the steps are. So let's begin with in painting, shall we? Um, which is page 94, 95, page 96. Oddly enough, the pages aren't numbered on the pages with images, but that's neither here nor there. In painting from the book is Affinity Photo's powerful content removal tool. And it samples surrounding uh, areas of what you want to remove. Um, things like unwanted elements, people, vehicles, dust spots on lenses, hot or stuck pixels, you've seen those, lens flares, I've got one of those to remove, and so on. So let's get right to it, because I want these exercises to be very short. So let's open the import from the cloud, the exercise photos that they're using in the book. And of course you can download those. The one we want is in painting people. Now from the tool panel, you select, select the in painting brush tool once we get it loaded. That's that one there. Up we come, and you can see there. Now the in-painting brush tool hides behind that one there. Sorry, that one there. The clone brush tool. Double tap it, there's your in-painting brush. Now we in, the in-painting brush is selected. Drag over the areas you want to remove and a red overlay will appear. Continue until you've selected the entire area. Well, let's... Leave the image quite small as it is. And you can see there's a slight red element and that person's gone. Now, I'd, I'd prefer to do this in a little larger image. So just put the hand tool up there so I can move the picture and we can start from the edge. Now, back to the tool. In painting tool is still selected. You'll notice that with... Um, I, with photo, it um, Affinity Photo, when you select an option, it stays selected. This can be both useful and an annoyance. There we go. You can see I'm removing all those people. We want this to be a deserted beach. Now, one of the things that you have to watch out for, there's some big people down here with surfboards. Let's get rid of those, shall we? Now, I'm using an Apple Pencil here too, which makes this a lot easier. But just for instance, you might want to remove this rock that's front and center down here. But you've got to be careful because in painting will pull the rock that's just below it and replace it with that and not the sand. So we've got to be very careful just there. You can see it's only just removing that rock because I'm quite delicately moving that. But if I want to remove the top of this rock and go in here, it replaces it with the rock, you see, because it's replacing from the surrounding area. Out here on the sand, there's a person or a dog. The surrounding area is what it's replacing it with. Just click, click the hand again. Now we've got a bunch of people. Now we'll go back to the in-painting brush. Now see the person that's just appearing from behind the rock, sort of the bottom left corner there. Let's see if we can remove that. See, that's gone, but there's a little bit of rock peeping out there. And that's really made it not very nice at all. So we just undo that option. Undo that option. And just very carefully remove that person. Now if I was to enlarge the image. Move it across. You can see there's still the shades of that person there. So we'll go back to the in-painting brush. 
and just remove it there. Now, you might need to clean that up still a little bit more. Now, there's another person there, and they're gone. More people out there, they're gone. They're gone. All those people out there, they're gone. So what we've got now, I haven't removed them all, of course. Spend all day doing this otherwise. But there they are. And there's a whole bunch of people over there. So you could end up with a completely clear beach. You repeat that procedure until you remove all the people from the scene. Everything you want is done. Now, we don't need to go any further with that. And I won't save it because if you save this image, it saves a copy, not the original. But I don't want to save it at all because it just takes up room. So just go back there. You can see it's the in-painting image. There's still a person out there in the middle of the field. But that's all I want to do. I can, In fact, I can close that. And everything's gone. 